The standard library, born as the standard template library, is just a very powerful set of functionality that you can count on in project after project, regardless of the application type you're working on, the platform you're targeting, or even the compiler that you're using. People are a little intimidated about it, sometimes because they're a little intimidated about templates. But you really don't need to understand templates to understand that you have to say what it's a vector of or what your map is looking up and finding. You're not writing template functionality when you use it, you're just taking advantage of it. Somebody went to the trouble to write a vector that works for everything. Integers, persons, nuclear reactor pointers, shared pointer to, blah, blah, blah. And you can mix and match these as, till your head explodes and still count on the functionality being consistent. It's consistent whether you're making a vector of two different types or pointers to those types or shared pointers to those types and so on. It's also consistent what kind of container to container. So a vector and an array, which is in C++11, and a linked list and a queue all have a begin, all have an end, all have an appropriate iterator with an overload of the increment so that you learn it once, and in many cases, you really only write it once. But don't make the mistake of thinking that the standard template library is just some collections and some algorithms to work on the collections. There's a ton of things that have nothing to do with collections, like math, like dates and times, random number generators, and regular expressions. Huge areas of functionality that you do not need to write yourself or source a third-party library for because they're in the standard library. It's just part of the power of C++.